Hi everyone, it's Asuka here. In this video, I will show you 5 ways to successfully apply gel nail with your non-dominant hand. When you apply gel polish to your nails, if you hold the brush with your dominant hand which you are used to, you may be able to apply it well. But if you apply it with your non-dominant hand, it will be wobbly and you will not be able to apply it well because you are not used to it. In such cases, please try this method. Even if you are wobbly and awkward, this method will allow you to apply with a firm fixation. So please watch until the end. Okay, let's get started. Which hand do you use to hold the brush when applying gel nails? I am right-handed, so it is easier for me to hold the brush with my right hand. However, when applying with the opposite hand, it is very difficult because it is not the hand you are used to using. Most of us cannot apply it well because our hands shake and rattle or it sticks out. In such cases, please try the 5 methods I will introduce next. With a few tricks, you will be able to apply better than usual. The first tip Which hand do you usually start applying gel polish? You probably start applying with a brush in your dominant hand, the one you are used to using for some reason. If you start with a hand that is easier to apply first, when you start with a hand that is harder to apply next, you will get frustrated because you will not be able to get it right. So I recommend that you start painting at the beginning when you are still concentrating with the brush in the hand opposite to your dominant hand. It is better to apply the paint with the brush in your non-dominant hand first because you are still in the stage of concentration which reduces frustration and allows you to apply the paint with a calmer mind. This is largely a feeling thing, but I always start applying with a brush in my non-dominant hand to reduce frustration. The second tip The second thing you should try is to fix the hand which the gel nail will be applied. If you apply with your hand in a floating position, it will inevitably wobble and cause it to stick out. So, hold the cylindrical bottle containing like the remover in your hand and fix the finger to be applied first. This way, the bottle will hold the finger in place and minimize the tremor of the finger being applied. In addition to holding the fingers in place, holding the entire hand in place can also minimize tremors. If you roll up a towel and place it under the hand, it will hold both fingers and the entire hand in place for better application. Also, when painting by holding a tubular object, when painting the four fingers from the pinky finger to the index finger, hold the thumb next to the index finger to make it easier to apply with the fingers facing firmly toward the front. Also, when painting the thumb, you can hold the bottle like this, to hold it in place. The third tip. The third tip is to support the hand holding the brush. It is very difficult to move a hand that you are not used to using, and even if you just hold the brush, it will shake and tremble. In such cases, Place the pinky finger on the opposite hand to create support. This single support will help to reduce the trembling of the hand. You can also use the side of your palm as a support to stabilize the pain.
Then, the fourth tip. The fourth tip is to apply the brush by moving the wrist or fingers on the dominant hand side rather than moving the unfamiliar hand. The unfamiliar hand, i.e. the hand opposite to the dominant hand, is usually not used very often and should be difficult to move. Even if you try to move your hand well, it will shake and move awkwardly, making it difficult to apply well. Therefore, instead of moving the hand you are not used to using, move your dominant hand which you are used to using. While holding the cylindrical bottle, try to apply by moving only your dominant hand's wrist without moving the brush. This way, you can apply just as if you were moving the brush in a straight line, preventing excess overflow. A more advanced method is to move the fingers of the dominant hand. In this case, I usually apply with this method, holding my wrist with a towel and moving only my finger. This is the same as moving your wrist, and you can apply the same way as if you were moving the brush in a straight line without any overflow or unevenness. The final tip. The fifth and final tip is to cure each finger. Since it is difficult to move the non-dominant hand, it is very common for the fingers to bump against each other while applying all five at once. Therefore, instead of trying to cure all five fingers at once, try to cure one finger at a time, even if it is troublesome. Also, if you are short on time and want to apply two or three fingers at a time, start with the pinky first. The probability of bumping is lower than if you start from the thumb. How was the method of applying gel nail with your non-dominant hand? For those who do self-nailing, it is an unavoidable problem but please try to find out which method suits you best. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. And if you like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.